Hello everybody and welcome to Cub Fans Minecraft. Today I'll be showing you how to build a mushroom farm that is both stackable and you do not have to replant it in Minecraft 1.2.5 and beyond. So after 1.81 came out, people pretty much gave up on these because the spreading rate was not fast enough. However, I believe with this stackable design, it is viable once again. So let me show you how this works. So the mushrooms that are initially planted are below these two blocks here. And mushrooms can actually grow up one block and over one block, or uh, conversely down one block and over one block. Uh, so they do that, and they grow. Then once you step on this pressure plate, water is released behind them, popping the mushrooms off, and you'll see some coming in from the upper layers as well. And that's how you harvest it. So let's go ahead and get building on this mushroom farm. The first thing we're going to do is mark out a 7x7 seven seven area. So let's go ahead and do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. Gap in the fourth one. 1, 2, 3. Then we'll come out 7 on this side. And do something like this on this side. So now our structure looks like that. Next thing we need to do is come down here. And right in front of this one block gap, we're going to dig down two. And we'll jump down here and we'll dig a 2 by 8 trench. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we'll go to the left one and dig a 2 deep trench there as well. So currently, your build should look like this. Next thing to do is we drop down here. We'll place redstone in the first part of our trench here. Then we'll go ahead and place a dirt block. And we will invert our signal. Put down three pieces of redstone wire, followed by a repeater on default delay, followed by just redstone on the uh, final block down here. Then we'll place glowstone blocks there, place the dirt block down, place another glowstone, and create like a zipper pattern of, uh, of glowstone here. And this will help transfer our signal, signal vertically. And also remember to put redstone on all your glowstone. So right now your structure should look like this. Then we'll go ahead and drop down here and cover up our trench with dirt. And on this final piece we'll go ahead and drop a pressure plate down. So let me find a pressure plate here. There we are. So you should see if it should turn off your redstone now. If you step on the pressure plate. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the floor where the water will flow over. So just go ahead and fill this in and we'll leave a one block gap which is from the gap here two blocks over and one block excuse me two blocks up and one block over so we'll go one two over so that's gonna be our empty block so everything else needs to be filled in with some stone and everything should look like that once you're done next we'll go ahead and make the outside of our structure so let's just go ahead and put down the outside So then your structure should look like that after putting down the outside. Next thing to do is put down our pistons. So we're going to come from the left hand corner, come down one, two blocks, place a block down, get rid of one block, and then place our piston facing downward like that, and then get rid, or place back the block we just destroyed. Then same thing on the back right hand corner, come out one, two blocks, place a block down, destroy one block place our piston facing downwards like that and replace the block we destroyed. So your structure should look like this. Next thing to do is to plant our mushrooms. So come down here and if you right click with the mushroom now and 1.2.4 and beyond you'll see you cannot place it in daylight. So to fix that we make it dark. So just make a dark structure around you, place down the mushroom then get rid of the structure like that and then block and cover up your mushroom. Then we'll do the same thing. As you can see, you still can't place it down. Do the same thing on this side. Dark. And then I'm going to place the brown one down. I've placed the red one on the, uh, the other structure. And then cover that one up as well. So you should have two mushrooms 
beneath this block and this block and the whole thing should look like this. Next thing we need to do is to get our redstone signal to our piston. So we'll drop down in the back here. We'll place a block down behind each piston like that. Then we'll go ahead and draw a redstone out like this with that piston. And we'll place one more block down here and go like that for the other piston. So now we should have two fully extended pistons and we're going to want to get a full water bucket. And we'll place our water down where the pistons are, are blocking. So our whole contraption now looks like this. Finally, the only thing we have left to do is to cover up this entire area. So this area is where the mushrooms will grow. And again, they can grow here as long as the light level is low enough. So we're going to go ahead and make a structure around them. Whoops. Like that. And then we'll go ahead and close off the back. And since mushrooms do not need more than one block to grow, we'll just go ahead and make this a one high room. Like that. Finally, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and make an arc shaped structure over our pressure plate and then come out one more block like so. And that's basically the mushroom farm complete. I'll just show you that it works. So we step in the pressure plate, water comes out and turns off once we step off it. I also like to go ahead and put down a sign because that way the water will get stuck on the sign not on the pressure plate and you'll see that become useful once we make the second layer. So for the second layer the first thing you need to do is go ahead and in a 5 by 7 area here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in this 5 by 7 area go ahead and go up two blocks so I'll just do that right here very quickly okay so I went ahead and raised that 5 by 7 area there two blocks now what we need to do is come over here and we'll dig down until we see the sign over there and what we'll do here is we'll place another sign down right there so that'll basically catch the water on this level and prevent it from flowing down onto the sign below then we'll take our stone bricks and create a three tall tower there and that'll basically just hold in all the mushrooms and prevent them from flying out onto our arch structure we built earlier so the structure should look pretty much like this right now next thing we want to do is go ahead and make the outside of the next level so come on over and just go along the outside and leave the back for now but everything else on this level should be the same and then we should look like that next thing to do is go ahead go to the back and we'll create places for our water blocks to go so we're gonna have them go right here so we'll just make the area for our water blocks like that and then on this side as well like that great Then we can go ahead and close that gap there and place our pistons down so again here is where our seventh block would be we come over one two piston will go down there and on this side there's one two piston will go down right there so let's go ahead and put those down piston faces down as before on both both of these so then replace the blocks you destroyed next thing we need to do is power these pistons so let's go ahead and place down some blocks back here and then some glowstone like that and remember to place the redstone dust on top of the glowstone then we can just go ahead and bring these guys out here and power our pistons by placing blocks on the backs of them and bring the signal over to them just like that now that the pistons are powered we can get our water and we'll place it down in the gaps so right now your structure should look like this then as before do the same thing in regards to your mushroom so you come out from this point here one two blocks go over one and the other side then make your structure so you can plant down the mushrooms like this plant it down get rid of that structure then you can go ahead and cover it up like that and then do the same thing for this side
Perfect. Now that we have our pistons wired up and our mushrooms planted, the only thing we have left to do is to close off this second level. So, just come along here and do as I do. And we'll drop down, close off this back part. And again, we only need to make it one high. So then after we close this off, like that, there we go. And that is our mushroom farm completed. Okay, everybody, so this is the mushroom farm fully completed. And let's go ahead and see if we did it correctly. We'll go ahead and step on the pressure plate. The water should come out on the top and the bottom. And oh, look at that. We got the first naturally spawned mushroom here. Yep, looks like the water's coming out on top as well. Step off it, and the water goes away. Great. So now just a quick note on how to extend this further. Just continue to use this same glowstone zipper pattern. Or you can do a staircase as well if you don't want to use glowstone. But the staircase is good for 16 blocks vertically. And after 16 blocks, you will have to use a redstone repeater to continue to propagate this redstone signal. But it's not a big deal. I've done it in my LP world, and it works great. So with that, I'll say thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been Cup Fan. Goodbye.